What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Stephanie and today I'm doing something that I haven't done in a very, very long time and that is dyeing my own hair. But if you guys are new to this channel, I have been progressively lightening my hair to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time now and what I'm doing right now is not exactly what I want to do but it's something different that I've always wanted to try and I think I may have what I need to do it. And I already kind of have a base of what I need to do it, so I'm just going to try. So basically what I'm doing today, I have had in my like hair drawer in my bathroom for almost two years now. A couple years ago, I wanted to have bright silver hair with purple tips. So I have silver and purple Ion Color Brilliance Brights Semi-Permanent Dye. I'm not going to be using the purple. I just have that because I don't know where the instructions are to this one, so I had to make sure had that but this is in the color titanium and I don't necessarily believe that my hair is as blonde as it needs to be to end up being a titanium color but at the same time I'm not really going for that if this does even just like a, a tinting of gray in the blonde of my hair that's kind of all I'm looking to do if it does nothing then we didn't lose anything in the process. I don't really know. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just winging it. I know that my best friend Marina, if you guys don't know her, my followers do, you've met her before. She's my best friend. She's also a cos licensed cosmetologist. She's done my hair for the last eight years. She's probably going to cringe while she watches this, but this is just a straight deposit color. You don't have to have any developer. So this really isn't gonna do much as far as like damage goes. So I'm not really concerned about that. And I'm gonna do my best to do it as professionally as possible. And I know I have a couple other cosmetologists that watch my videos that are probably gonna cringe, but what are you gonna do? I have it here and I'm bored and I just wanna see. I'm just gonna go into it and we're gonna see what happens. I have a shirt on that I don't care about. I have my color here. I have a bowl. I have a brush and I have gloves, all of which I've obtained over the years from doing my own hair in the past. I hope I have enough camera battery for all of this. If not, you'll see at least an idea of what I'm doing and you'll see the end result. So for all, all the videos that I watched of people using this brand where it's just a straight deposit, they don't use a developer, they use a conditioner. So as long as it's a white conditioner, that's what everyone's saying is fine to do. So I'm going to be using the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow conditioner. And the reason I'm using this is because it's been sitting in my... Um, bathroom in my shower and it's like white it's like it's vibrantly white <laughs> it also has a bunch of like minerals and vitamins and herbs and stuff that's supposed to be good for your hair so hopefully maybe while it's processing it'll like treat it too and then I also found in my bag of hair stuff I have this L'Oreal trio of this like total repair so from videos that I've watched you are not supposed to wash this color out you're just supposed to rinse it out so I'm not gonna use the shampoo but I am going to use the Restoring Conditioner. And then there is a Damage Erasing Balm that I'm going to use in my hair the very next time that I do wash it, which isn't gonna be for a while. So I'm gonna have to take these bad boys off, which is great, because I can't see. And again, I'm using my viewfinder as my mirror. So wish me luck. I could put a mirror right next to it. I think I'm gonna do that. Pause. Okay, that might be helpful. Excuse me. <laughs> This is like day five-ish hair, so I'm a little greasy and a little flat. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit the color everywhere that there is blonde. I'm not going to put it on the dark roots. I do have um, a shadow root, so I'm not going to put it on there. Let's just jump right into this. First thing I'm going to do is take the bowl and the conditioner and put the conditioner in the bowl like so. Okay, I'm only going to do much. I'm do about that much in there. It's a little bit of a loose condition. I don't know if this is the best one to use, but whatever. Anyway, if I have to add more, I'm not going to use this whole thing of color right off the bat. Um, if I have to add more of this in conditioner later, I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to pop the top here. And then I'm going to I'm gonna use about, so I just put a fourth of the color. I just put a fourth of that in there and I'm gonna mix it and see what it does here. What it looks like. Like I said, even if it gives it like a tint of like a silver or gray, I'd be happy with that. Maybe it'll like take out any brassiness I have. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect. This is definitely not enough though. I know that right now. Okay, so I just went ahead and put the whole tube in and just put a little bit more conditioner in. And just mixing that up. Oh, 
this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. I haven't done anything like this in a long time. I'm getting it on my hands. Why aren't I wearing the gloves? So basically also what I'm gonna do, what I've always done when I do my hair, and I want it to, what the heck was that bang? What I've always done when I wanna to try to make sure that the color deposits is that I usually lay on longer than it suggests. So it does say 20 minutes to a half hour, but once I get it all deposited, after about a half hour, because I'm definitely not gonna do 20 minutes, I'm just going to take a peek at it and then see if I want it on anymore. The weird thing is, I swear the videos I watched of people using this exact tube of hair dye is that it looked purple in their bowl and this definitely just looks silver. So, oh boy. I don't know guys. I'm assuming I'm not going to look like the Tin Man because I am diluting it with conditioner, so I'm kind of not mad at that because, I don't know, I, I'm, I am a little afraid. I'm a little excited, but I'm a little afraid. So, whatever, let's just jump into this. I have my hair parted down the middle. My mirror, I have a really tiny mirror that's probably not going to help me do anything. Um, I'm just going to part my hair, start right above my ears. These gloves are doing a hell of a job, like not letting me touch my hair. Does that work? Okay. Okay. And then like I said, I'm just gonna deposit it all over the blonde and make sure the blonde gets saturated. So I'm gonna start not doing like a crazy amount because like I said, I wanna get my whole head. Um, oh God, here it goes. I wanna get my whole head so if I can't like fully saturate, I'm gonna like do this while I do this. Kinda get it, get it in there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just continue to do this all the way through. Go section by section, make sure to rub it in. And um, once I get to the top, if I have any left over, I'm just gonna make sure that it's saturated and just use my hands and just kind of get it in there. So, all right, let's do this. Okay, lucky for me, ooh, I'm gonna drop it. I have this much left in here. Because my hair is so thin. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna use my big mirror now so I can see better and just deposit the rest of this where I see any spots that I miss and just get my hair fully saturated. So I'll see you guys when I'm 
ready to rinse out. So I was able to use every bit of product I had in there. I made sure my hair was completely saturated. I was like massaging it into everywhere that was blonde. I have it now bagged up, just retaining some heat. I'm going to leave it on for, I'm gonna check it in a half hour just to see because I know what it says, but because I did dilute it a pretty decent amount, I'm probably gonna leave it on for a good like 45 minutes. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys with the finished results. All right, guys, so here it is. It definitely toned it enough to where it's like a silvery gray tone. So there's definitely still some blonde-ish colors. I think that if I diluted it a little bit less, it would have been more vibrant, but I'm actually very, very content with this. It doled down the blonde a little bit, which is what I wanted. It did add the gray tone to it. And um, if you can see better, this, this lighting is awful. I do sincerely apologize, but there were a few spots underneath that were almost platinum blonde for whatever reason. It took a lot more the blonde did initially. So there's some like perfect gray colors under here that I'm in love with. But above all, for something that's really inexpensive and doing it on my own, I'm not mad at it. I'm actually kind of digging it. So I don't know, I'm in a season, guys, of like wanting to change my hair all the time. This actually was just like a fluke thing. I was really getting sick of how light it was and I had the product with me, so I just wanted to do it. And I'm still not done. I have a plan for my hair that's probably gonna happen before the end of the year. Maybe, maybe if not, the very beginning of next year. Um, I don't know, I'm just like in a season of wanting to change my hair. But this I could be content with for a while if I could maintain it. And actually, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. If I get bored, maybe I'll try to even bring the gray silvery out a little bit more. I'll get some more of that product because it's really inexpensive. And do that again, dilute it a little bit less and do the same thing because I'm very uh, surprised. Pleasantly surprised and pleased with these results. I know it's not totally professional looking and I know it's not perfect, but for doing it on my own, I am totally fine with it and I like it. So that's really all that matters. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also remember to hit subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. I don't very often make videos like this, but I do have some similar. So if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, let me know in the comment below and I will definitely do more, I don't know, beauty things if, if anybody's interested. Not that I'm like a beauty guru, but if you're interested, I'll try to do some more of that stuff. So I hope you're all having a great day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.